That was Tag Team Whoop. There it is. I've heard that song, unfortunately, a million times. First time I've ever seen the video. I didn't play it here. One of the guys is like 45. <laughs> He's balding and 45, so that takes away from the video a little bit. So what's up? I really haven't uh, chatted too much. The last video I've had was the... Uh, we can call it a train wreck, but the less than impressive. I wasn't happy with it. Uh, what do you call that movie I just did? Office Space. I couldn't even remember it. Uh, we've got glare right here, and I don't like it, so I'm just trying to cover it up. So what's been going on? Um, thank you to Alan W., one of the people that watches a lot of videos and comments, uh, offering in any tops I needed. I was only one card short of the 1987 top set, and that was a Hall of Famer. That was Hall of Famer Tim Rock Reigns. And uh, I did find that, so thank you very much. I appreciate that. Shout out to Lucky Lucky. He's coming for you, Lucky. He's coming for you. And then the other thing with 87 tops is, Von Hayes is the devil. 666, the mark of the beast. Von Hayes. Sorry. Um, what else is going on? So yesterday, last night, I started sorting 1981 Fleer. And this is what I had. I had two boxes of it. Uh, not boxes like opening, but like, um, you know, like five, th not 5,000 count. 750 count boxes maybe one was completely the full but anywho this is what i look like that's how happy i was when i started the idea it was like oh 81 fleer it's gonna be fun it's 81 it's really old it's tent kent to colve or tent tent Catolve is better by the time i was halfway through sorting 90 81 fleer this is what i look like <laughs> That's also the expression I imagine a lot of any newcomers to my channel had when they were watching the uh, Office Space rib. <laughs> that is John Tamargo. Uh, 80, I keep on, yeah, 81 Fleer sucks. It's um, pretty paper thin. 90 something percent of the cards are way off centered. And the pictures are the most boring pictures you'll ever see in cards before. We're going to put Von Hayes in the Mark of the Beast right there to get that glare out. Yeah, I'm glad I put it together. I'm actually got a little bit more to do, but uh, 81 Fleer kind of sucked. So, real quick pickups. I showed these two to start off the video. These are what I picked up in the last two weeks. I actually picked this up at Burbank Sports Cards a couple weeks ago. I went in for supplies. I felt stupid just getting like $10 to $15 in supplies. So... They had this. They had a miss, a mismarked price on this. 
They had it for 20 bucks on the shelf, and I figured it was maybe wrong, but I tried it. It was a little bit more, but not that much more. So I was either this, or I was considering getting a box of Allen and Ginter from last year. So I just grabbed this, because I did not open any of this last year. And I went into Target the other day, and they had three boxes of the very, I'm assuming, very, very, very sad world's greatest card chase for baseball. I had to use every fiber of my bean to hold myself back from buying any more of that garbage. I had one box left of this, so I scooped it up. Okay, so quick pickups uh, along with that is about two weeks ago, actually, I got these two cards. Um, I got this and then this, these two Sandbergs. As it turned out, I already had this Sandberg, but that's fine. I only had one of it before, and I needed this one. So I think I got these two for $5 out the door. Eh, whatever. Uh, I know shipping costs money, blah, blah, blah. So I'm okay with it. I needed this one, and always good to have a second one. I just got this yesterday. Oh, I got like five or six more Sandbergs I didn't have before that I purchased off eBay. So a couple serial numbered, uh, some nice cards coming for the next uh, pickups. But I opened this yesterday. This is a nice little uh, Don Rose Hollow uh, that is out of out of 500. So nothing special, but it's a serial no, serial numbered card. I swear I'm not drunk. This is regular iced tea. Uh, Arnold Palmer, actually. Wow. He, sure, he sure knows his golf and his iced tea. Which is cool about this, I didn't even realize until I got it. That's Tony Gwynn right there sliding in and there's Sandberg and there's a number and just your basic back and there's also the same picture of back so that's cool some um, average pickups for the Sandberg collection so I was planning on actually opening both of these in a video but we did the little bit of the song we did pickups we can only open one so we got to choose one of them I don't know how to choose Let's just flip a coin real quick. Let's flip a coin. So, who's the wisest person that could choose or decide what box to be made? Why, of course, it's Donald Trump. We, we have the Donald, the Donald Trump copper coin. This is the heads, 45th president, and this is the back of the White House. So, we'll say heads for Bowman and tails for the archives. So it's the fairest and wisest way to do things. And um, I really wanted to, Trump is wrong for the first time ever. So I'm going to flip that over, go with heads, and we're going to open the Bowman. Figured I might as well open the Bowman before it's too obsolete. I'm not that big in the politics. I just, uh, I just picked up that coin for a couple bucks. I thought it was cool. It's... 0.9999% copper, which means it's worth 18 cents. God damn it, I can't open this, hold on. I'm actually going backwards on subscribers. I lost a subscriber after the uh, Office Space video. Probably tearing the hell out of these cards up inside. Oh my God, Bowman. I don't think too many people are trying to get into every single box like that. So yeah, I lost a subscriber. Which is a good thing, because I really don't want to give anything good away for the 300 subscriber giveaway. So let's go through this. I don't know if anybody else has heard of the, um, the rumor of if there's a security tag, that that's where you're gonna find any color in here. And maybe that's different with the blaster. It's probably different with the blaster. I'm hoping I at least get one parallel card out of here. So we'll get rid of the Von Hayes card, the beast. And uh, well, that doesn't help. We're reinserting the Von Hayes card to try to get rid of some of that glare. I usually just turn the light off, but it's too dark and it didn't look good. So. Okay, let's uh, rip open this blaster of Omen. I don't know all the prospects, but I have a eh, there's a Kalnek. First player on there. Been a pretty big disappointment this year. 
Uh, Freddie Freeman, so we're getting our veteran. There's Juan Soto. That card's really dropped since I bought it. Uh, rookie of the Year favorites, Luis Heel, as I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, there's the Bowman First Paper, Jabara. There's Alan Serta. Uh, Denzer Guzman, really, Denzer. And we have Ian Lewis. Uh, this is Bowman First Chrome. And then we have Carlos Aguiar. I am not too familiar with those names. That's okay. I'm not going to sort it right now. So, no big hits that I know of as of yet. It's always nice to get the chrome bowman first. It's always worth holding on to for a little bit. There's Ronnie Mauricio to start the second pack. There's Key Brian Hayes, one of my favorites. Randy Arozarena, very nice. There's a Matt Manning rookie card. Colton Welker, shout out to uh, Recycler, buddy. Let me know you're okay out there. Uh, there's Jose Ramirez, Albert Pujols having a nice year for the Cardinals again. And this is a decent card. It's a Reed Detmers 100. He was 49. He threw the no-hitter this year. Austin Martin who was once a really big prospect with Toronto. Now he's with the Twins. Luis Rodriguez. There's James Woods, not the actor. There's... I can't read this. Zayed Salinas, that was hard to read, and then Ronnie Mauricio, and this is the Chrome, and this is the Bowman first, so we're still looking for something that I would call a big hit. Yeah. Connor Wong rookie, Josh Lowe, this is a rookie pack, and then I pull a 45-year-old. Uh, Max Scherzer, Chris Bryant, not having a good year. Uh, the the main pitcher that the Cubs got for Chris Bryant made his debut today, I believe, Caleb Killian. So what do we have here? We have Hi-Fi Future, Jordan Walker. I know he's a, a Cub coming up there. So we have Luis Verdugo. Not too familiar with him. We'll have to check into him. That is a first. Zach Veen, nice card. This guy. We have... Dave will have to let me know, Red Sox fan, Eduardo Lopez, that looked like a serial number for a second because it's so badly scratched right there. And then um, Braylon, I can't read some of these, Braylon Jaraba, I think I already saw that card. So uh, a couple more chrome first. Whit Mayerfield, there's a Matt Vierling, I'm not familiar. There's Shane Baz rookie card. That actually may be, in my opinion, the best card so far. Jackson Coar, I've heard that name before. Gavin Sheet, I've heard that. This is a good pack. Miguel Cabrera. Spencer Torkerson, it's not special. It's not a rookie, it's not a first or anything. But Julio Rodriguez, definitely the best pack so far. Torkelson, Rodriguez. Isaac Pacheco, I've actually heard that name. Maybe we can get a good... First here, Jose Pastrano, and then we have Sal Frelick. Um, I remember Sal Frelick. I did, what was those, some Panini product. I got a jersey card of his. Okay, we only have two packs left. So that was actually the best pack by far. Bowman's always fun to rip, it's just, you're getting a lot less value for any product this year. So I'm going to start opening a lot of the, the stuff that I have saved away. Oops, oh, I thought it was something special. Xander Bogarts. Joe Ryan, rookie card. Josiah Gray, I got his autograph on... Uh, what did I get his autograph on? I got it off something. Oh, the Donruss box that I did. Rodolfo Castro. We have a Simeon Woods Richardson, top 100. There's that Denzer Guzman, another Sal Freilich. Zayed Salinas again. Emmanuel Rodriguez first. No, it's not a first. And then Luis Matos, not a first. So no color. Um, yeah. No serial numbered. 
Here's a Wander Franco to start. So finally, I mean, I'm sure it's a two or three dollar play. I'm just taking a sip here. I'm sure it's just a two or three dollar card. But it's nice to get that because you kind of get it out of the way. I have this Heritage, just tops, and now this Bowman rookie card. Jonathan India, shout out to David M, who doesn't watch anymore. Bryce Harper, Fernando Tatis, another really good pack. Springer, Carlos Correa, who is this? It's a Cub. Oh, Kevin Alcantara, very nice. Uh, Virtuosic Vibrations. I mean, it's not really a rare insert from my knowledge, but at least it's a Cub, and I'll take that. Alan Serta, we saw that name before. Tyler Soderstrom. Estevian Machado. We have Diego Cartaya. And then Helia Ramos. Uh, probably heard that name from Big Brother before. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'd, not that the Wander's not cool. I'd probably rather just have like a, a color uh, serial numbered. But I may actually have to get one more box of this now. So... He was not good luck. He picked the, he probably actually picked the, well, maybe he picked the right box with the archives. So we'll have to open the archives. Who knows? Maybe I'll just open the archives in a separate video now and release it later. But anyway, um, no thanks to the Donald Trump coin. Uh, thank you for anyone who watches or will still watch after the Trump appearance in this video. I'm really not trying to be political. Uh, I just saw this, so... Uh, thank you very much, and hopefully the next box of Bowman we get will be a little bit better later. Whoop, there it is.